G'day, I'm Clive and welcome. Today's video is about the Autumn Goods Ultralight Hammock. And the first thing you see, it's small. And it comes in its own little yeah. double-ended stuff sack. Now I can feel one, two carabiners in there. So I did say the size of it is 2.8 meters long by 1.46 meters wide. And you've got hexagonal grid ripstock nylon it's made out of, a 300 kilogram weight capacity, a total pack weight of 340 grams, and the yeah, pack dimension 19 centimeters by 9.5 by 9.5. Actually, probably squash that down smaller. The carabiners that I can fill, they say they are, there's two 12 kilonewtons, so they'll take, what is it, is that 1.2 tons does that mean? So what we'll do, we'll head down to the trees, where I've got the straps waiting, and we'll get this put up. Okay, I'm at the tree, I've got my tree straps up, time to get the hammock up. Now what I'm going to do is, they say this is what, 2.8 meters, so I'm going to pace between the trees and then estimate what's left over, divide it by two and guess where my hammer's going to go so it'll help censor it in between the two trees to get a nice better lay. four paces between these two trees. So normally it might have been a bit short but I think because it's only a short hammock of 2.8 meters I think we'll get away with it. Now what they've done here because I haven't had this out the pack yet they just roll it all up and put it in the double-ended stuff sack. They haven't even got it ready to go. So let's get that ready. Okay, I've turned it all around the right way now, and I've got my buckles or carabiners sticking out either ends. You can see the the webbing. I don't know if it's nylon or Dyneema. It feels fairly fairly strong. I'm happy to see the stitching's all been finished off nice on that end. Yeah, not too bad on this end, just a smidgen. But no, that's good, I'm happy with that. So that's the size of it. I'll push that down now without the carabiners there, even smaller. Let's get it up and have a look and see what it feels like and looks like. Now I'm using the Autumn Goods uh, tree straps and they're like a dining room for material about an inch wide and they've just got all the loops so when you're adjusting these you'd be able to adjust your hammock by roughly so one, two, three, three and, a, three, three and a half inches each time I don't think it was about the two and a half, three but then I had a proper look and you're getting about three and a half inches each time you adjust it uh, yeah, they can be pretty good quality. Right, let's get back to the hammock. Let's put the straps through. Now, initially. It looks nice. Happy to say the stitching. Have a look all the way first. It is 
pretty good. There's a couple of loose finishings at the end where they haven't trimmed it back properly. But all, all in all, it, it is pretty good. Quality wise, it feels nice. You can see the uh, diamond ripstop in it. And also got little squares, it's got two, so yeah, you can also be protected in different directions. On the opposite side, we've got a pocket. Let's go and have a look. So here you go on the opposite side. We've got a pocket, probably big enough to put your glasses in there, your wallet, keys, mobile phone, or even a cold drink. I think the cold drink sounds better, don't you? Hey there, kick back, cold one, sorted. So we've, got, we've got a couple of loose threads flying around, but that's just from where they've trimmed it. Yeah, they're just the little bits with the, the off cuts with the trim, the actual sewing part. Now there's a little bit of give in the material and not a lot. So it is a fairly firm lay, let's say. Oh yeah, that'll do. Just lie here, walking out into the brush. Oh, got tons coming down. Oh, there goes the hat. Let's get up before the ants do. Now let's have a look at from end to end, shall we? Uh, what I've done where they folded the material in and stitched it, I've put it on the inside so there's nothing on the outside to catch or anything. Uh, not for any reason apart from it just looks better when it's like that. I've done the same at the other end. You can see the looped ribbon comes through, they put it through itself and out the other side. So that's going to go nowhere, there's no knot to come undone. The only way that's going to come and done is if one of these or that itself actually snaps, which to be honest there's a rating of on this hammock. So I don't think that's going to break if that's their rating. And you can see they come with the carabiners, doesn't say on them, but they're fairly lightweight. So that's going to hold it nice. Now I have a couple more, so what I might do when I get home later is find the other two and add them to the tree straps so I don't have to keep putting it through the loops and pulling it. And then it's just a matter of clicking and I'm done. But normally I'd use them two trees there, which are probably two or three meters wider apart. I gave this a go. And four paces, four paces, and a hammock with these tree struts fits in there nice. Now let's have a lay down in it and see how it feels overall. Boy. Okay, let's find a centre. Get my bum in there and lay down. Here we go. Remember we get the best lay, flat lay, he's lay diagonal. So my feet are over the right hand side there and my head is over this side. Let's give it a slide up here. Oh yeah. It's been a while since I've been in a hammock. Laying here now makes me realise how much I've missed it.
Felt a bit of breeze blowing through underneath. So uh, that's nice. I think the next thing I need to get on here is the uh, the bog net. But that'll be the uh, another video. Right, I'm just gonna have a nap here, looking up and listening to the birds. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have and you're not already a subscriber, please go down below, click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell and select all. And click the thumbs up button, the like button. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much.